John Eldridge once said, only by walking with God can we hope to find the path that leads to life. And when the Bible talks about eternal life, I always interpret this as meaning totally alive every day of your life. To be so alive tomorrow that, that you live completely in the now and give thanks through your awareness to God for what's happening in your life. Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do not depend on your own understanding. Seek God's will in all you do, and God will show you which path to take. We're constantly asking God for guidance. We want to know which turn to make in our career, in our personal life, in our relationships. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 makes this promise. If you acknowledge God's sovereignty over every aspect of your life, God will guide your path. As you prayerfully consider the path that God wants you to take, here are some things that you can do to keep on the right path. Study God's Word. And listen closely as you study God's Word, the hidden message in between the words that will come to you spiritually. Be ever watchful for God's signs. Many times I will be going in one direction and I'll clearly have a sign that this isn't the way to go at all. Associate with faith-filled optimistic people that will encourage you and encourage your spiritual growth. Listen carefully to that still small voice that speaks to you in the quiet moments of your daily devotional time. And also be patient. Be patient with yourself. Be patient listening for God's message. Your heavenly God will not always reveal God's message to you as quickly as human mind would like. But there is always a divine timing, a divine maturing that takes place so that something is ready for you. Rest assured, God wants you to use your life in wonderful and unexpected good ways. Your challenge is to watch to listen, to learn, and to follow.